And if you're just tuning in for the first time, here's what's happened so far. I smoke about two packs a day, 40 cigarettes or so. About every 30 minutes, I had a public intoxication. I've had two DWIs. I don't think I have a problem with drinking. I think of Stephen dying quite often. It could leave me being a single mom. I usually eat fast food every day, 21 times a week. Love wings, hot dog, chili cheese fries. When Frankie was born, he was diagnosed with rubenstein tabby syndrome. Corey was just in shock. To this day, I don't think he's come to terms with what our future is, what Frankie's future is. He's eating himself to his death. I've been chewing tobacco for 28 years. Chewing tobacco has been horrible for our marriage. Kissing somebody who has just chewed is probably one of the worst kisses you'll ever have in your life. I have a, a, a three ounce bag of tobacco that controls me. Wake up! Wake up and come out! This is your wake up call. All the honest ladies, I would have bailed ages ago. I don't drink if I don't want to drink. Well, you're not going to want to drink ever again because you're going to kill someone in that car of yours. Explain Patrick to me. What am I missing here? We had a daughter and she died at 13 days old. We'd already lost twins in 96 that died at birth. I don't know if that is some sort of trigger. All these foods that you bought yesterday, they're killing you. Make it now. the walls that you and tobacco it's helped create in our marriage. I, I'm at my limit. Drink that. You really want me to drink this? Do I look like I'm joking? Oh my god. What if you killed someone on your third DUI? You want to drink and drive? Or do you want to kill? My middle daughter, Ginger, was killed by a drunk driver. Can you imagine having to tell her three and a half year old son that his mommy wouldn't be coming home anymore? I don't, I don't want to drink no more. You're going to quit after 11 minutes? I'm feeling like I'm dying here! You are dying! What do you think is happening, Corey? Hello! Welcome to your wake up call! Well, deep down in my heart, I feel that he is the way he is because of me. It's not your fault. Nothing that you could do to make this happen. 